happy, aren't you, Martin? Oh, wonderfully happy, darling. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not a miserable. <laughs> fed up with being Martin Wellborn, having to behave differently, Martin? talk differently. Here we are, Umbrella. Oh, thanks, my little sweetheart. Briefcase? Thanks, my little sweetheart. <laughs> Don't look in the mirror. Reggie used to do that. Have a good day at the office. I will. Uh, I hate Martin Wellborn. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Greengrass. Good morning, Mr. Wellborn. Uh-uh. Don't throw the umbrella. <laughs> uh, 17 minutes late, defective bogey at Earlsfield. Uh, dictation time, Miss uh, Ingress, to the... Uh, to the um, Don't look at her legs, that belongs to Reggie. To the, um, to, to the principal of the College of Industrial Psychology, Initiative House Steeple Bumstead, dear sir. Thank you for your kind inquiry. Uh, regarding the Reginald Perry Memorial Foundation. The purpose of the legs is to keep the employees... Legs, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. I mean, the, the purpose of the foundation... Uh, the purpose of the foundation is to keep the legs happy and therefore efficient. <laughs> uh, we have regular policy discussions between workers and management. I have a monthly chat with each employee. Everyone fills in detailed questionnaires or questionnaires. There are outings, societies, and lunchtime concerts in our new social centre, the Pudding Club. <laughs> furthermore, furthermore, may I say that... Come in. Furthermore, may I say that... Come in. Sorry, I, I wasn't sure whether I heard you say come in or not, so, so I thought if you didn't, I'd better not. And if you did, you'd say it again, and, and, and I could always come in then. <laughs> yes. Do sit down, David. I'll get you coffee. Thank Super. You. Well, David, time for our little monthly chat, eh? Yes. Yes. How are things in the world of ice cream? Super. I'm enjoying working on the new Nut World range immensely. Oh, good. That is splendid news. And I hear you've joined the Sunshine Singers. Yes. Yes, I'm becoming much more... Well, I suppose it's not for me to say. Maybe I'm not. Much more what? Self-confident. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm much more... What can I say? How can I put it? <laughs> Decisive? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> and how about the redecoration of your office? Did you get the scab? S scab? Uh, the selection of colour scheme advisory booklet. Oh, <laughs> yes. I, I, I couldn't decide whether to choose red for initiative, green for concentration, or, or blue for loyalty. Which do you think I need more of most? Initiative, concentration, or, or loyalty? Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> oh, coffee. Come in! Morning, Martin. Hello. Morning, David. Uh, how's it going? Oh, fine. Super. Great. Won't keep you long. Happiness on the increase, Martin. Questionnaires proving helpful. I hope so. Great. Super. One little thing bothers me. Ah. Production is down 1.2%. Yes. Any theories? Everybody's uh, spending too much time filling in questionnaires, selecting colour schemes, having monthly chats and talking to the other side of industry. Super. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> one other thing. Absenteeism due to sickness is up 3.1%. Ah. Well, CJ has got to be told. Absolutely. Secret of successful management is the ability to delegate. Yes. You tell him, Martin. Absolutely. Marion, oh. <laughs> uh, 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 Marion, would you, would you, I'd, I'd like, uh, excuse me, sir. would you excuse me? Marion, I'd like to, no, just excuse me, excuse me. I'd, I'd like to, uh, <laughs> I'd like to see CJ about the rise in absenteeism due to sickness. Oh, any time this morning. Ah. Absent sick. <laughs> I loathe Martin Wellborn. Oh! <laughs> Hello, darling. Dry martini? I hate dry martini. Lovely. Have a good day at the office. Wonderful. Are you sure you're happy? Deliriously happy. I said we seem to be on the flight path again today. <laughs> I wonder who was in that plane. Oh, we shall never know. Perhaps a party from the Belgian licensed Vickers Association. <laughs> Eager for cheap sweaters at Marks and Sparks. <laughs> What's for supper, darling? Mutton casserole. Oh, my God. Yum, yum. <laughs> Reggie hated it.
hated mutton casserole. Oh, did he really? <laughs> he hated dry martini, too. Yeah. Oh, did he really? <laughs> but then I'm not Reggie, am I? No, you're not, are you? Mm. <laughs> Reggie never wanted to go for a walk in the evenings. But I'm so different from him, darling. God's coming off. What is it? Oh, yeah. Indigestion, darling. In the face? <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I, I keep getting these attacks of indigestion in the face. <laughs> Can I help? No. No, please. I, I like to be on my own when I get these indigestion face attacks. <laughs> uh, that's it. Uh, feel better now, darling. Look, I'm sorry about yesterday, but uh, I do hate Martin Wellborn. Well, that's all right, Chief. No bones broken. Who is this Martin Wellborn, anyway? I am. Martin! <laughs> Come in! Ah! Martin! Ah, CJ. Sit down. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> don't trust the easy chairs, eh? I don't blame you. I didn't get where I am today, trusting the easy chairs. I have something to tell you, CJ. I'm Work afraid... going well? Is... Keeping everybody's pecker up? Uh, yes, CJ, yes. CJ, I'm afraid productivity... How's the lunchtime uh, folk club going? Oh, very well, CJ. Parker from Flans is singing today. <laughs> that man could become a second Dylan Thomas. <laughs> yes, CJ. CJ, I'm afraid Martin. productivity... Yes, CJ. New pictures. Ah. Indicative of happiness. Yes, CJ. The thing is, CJ, I met the I'm firm's a... ex-doctor on Saturday, a chap called Morrissey. Sound man, salt of the earth, first-class brain. I sacked him once. Absolutely fascinating, CJ. Yeah, I'm giving CJ him his is... job back. <laughs> I realise now the importance of loyalty and happiness. Loyalty and happiness, Wilborn! I'm sorry, CJ, what was that? I said we seem to be on the flight path again today. Yeah. Probably the Grenoble Philatelic Society en route for Bourne and Hollingsworth. Yes. <laughs> Never mind all that. What is it you want, Martin? Well, CJ, productivity... Spit I'm it out. Is a... Productivity... I'm nice positive. and brief. <laughs> productivity... I'm Proliferation afraid. is the thief of time. <laughs> Product... Timidity is uh, down 1.2%, CJ, and absenteeism due to sickness is up 3.1%. I see. Yes, and I have analysed all the questionnaires, CJ. And? And there are a lot of things about the firm a lot of people like a lot. Good. Splendid. Tickety-boo. Exactly, CJ. As you quite rightly say, good, splendid... Tickety-boo. But, uh, <laughs> but there are a few things, CJ. Ah. Oh, little things, CJ, that, um, uh, that, that a lot of people dislike rather a lot. What little things, oh, just, 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 just little things, CJ. The, uh, the, 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 the furniture, the, the, the office, the, uh, the, the factory, the, uh, the, the, the product, and, uh, <laughs> and also, CJ. And? And you, CJ. They're just <laughs> I see. Mere bagatelles, Wilborn, we mustn't let short-term setbacks obscure the long-term view. Neither Mrs. C.J. nor I has ever let short-term setbacks obscure the long-term view. I imagine not, C.J. Results will come. Yes, Carry on with the good work. Thank you, C.J. <clears throat> Don't forget, in a sense, you are keeping Reggie Perrin alive. <laughs> <laughs> Dictation time, Miss Greengrass. To the location of offices, Bureau, South Key, Tobermory, Mull. Yes, sir. Is anything wrong, Mr. Wilbur? No, it's this Reginald Perrin Memorial Foundation. All this business of making everybody happy is making me miserable. Well, Owen Lewis from Crumples is coming for his monthly chat in five minutes. Is he really? Is he really? How splendid. Good night, Joe. <laughs> You're not going home, Mr. Wilbur. Going home? Of course. But I'd be going home when Owen Lewis from Crumbles is coming for his monthly chat. Good heavens, no. I'm going to see my daughter. And then I'm going home. <laughs> uh, well, well, when I, uh, Miss Greengross, when I say I'm going to see my daughter, I, um, I'm Martin Wellborn. I'm not going to see my daughter because I do not Martin Wellborn do not have a daughter. <laughs> I am going to see a deceased Reginald Perrin's daughter, who is my stepdaughter. Come in. 
Ah, oh, Owen. Martin. Sit down. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> You see, darling, you're the only person I can talk to about this because you're the only person who knows who I really am. Oh, well, your secret's safe with me, Dad. Yes. The only... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this. You've sat on the aubergine peeler. Uh, on the what? The aubergine peeler. Tom gave me a set of vegetable knives for Christmas. You get a different tool with each vegetable. There's a, a parsnip cutter, a courgette slicer. Oh, good, I am relieved. No home should be without its courgette slicer. <laughs> oh, darling, you see, the whole... oh, what's this now? Oh, oh, sorry, that's Adam's wombat. You see, Tom won't let the children have any toys that are anything to do with violence. Oh. Pompous prig. Jolly good idea. <laughs> but what am I going to do, darling? You see, I want to go back to being Reggie again. Well, all right. I know. Yeah. Martin Wellborn can leave all his clothes in a pile on the beach and reappear as Reggie Perry. Oh, very amusing. Attend another memorial service and marry your mother for the third time, I suppose. <laughs> no, darling, you see, what I... What, <laughs> what is this? Sprout. It is horrible. 1972 wasn't a very good year for Sprout. Certainly wasn't. <laughs> Look, darling, you see, what, what I really wanted to ask was... I was wondering if, 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 if uh, you could possibly tell your mother. Oh, no, Dad, no, no, no. If anyone tells her, it's got to be but you. But it's not going to be easy, darling. You see, she's grown used to me as I am. I think she prefers me to me. Oh, she doesn't prefer you to you. She much prefers you. Well, I think she prefers me. It's going to be a terrible shock for her anyway, isn't it? Maybe not so much as you think. Hmm? Tell her tonight, Dad. All right, I will. I will. I, 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 it's so silly to be worried about. You really think I ought to tell her? If you want to, Dad. Now, more sprout wine, it'll give you Dutch courage. Oh, like Belgian courage. <laughs> oh, look, look, its throat's been cut. Oh, Adam must have got hold of the aubergine peeler. Mm. <laughs> Tell her tonight, All Dad. All right, darling, I will, I will. Oh, oh. oh, God, yes, if I can drink that, I can do anything. <laughs> I'll see myself out, darling, don't bother. OK, Dad, bye. All right. Hello, Mum. It's Linda. Your daughter, remember? Well, I know I don't usually ring in the afternoon, but listen, Dad's been round and... And here's Tom. Oh. And 30 seconds, really. Oh, thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been ringing Tim Tom. <laughs> Do you usually talk to Tim, Linda? <laughs> no. Silly of me. It's the speaking clock, Linda. It isn't the listening clock. It doesn't hear you. No. Silly of me. What is the time, anyway? Quarter past four. Uh, and 30 seconds. <laughs> it's time I went for my walk. Hello, Mum. It's Linda. Your daughter, remember? Well, I know I don't usually ring from a call box, but Tom's at home. I w well, I'll explain if you'll let me. Listen, there's something I wanted to tell you privately. There's a sinister man outside the phone box. I'm sure he's a breather. What? Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to tell you. No, no, listen, Mum. Dad's been round, and he's decided to tell you he's Reggie. Well, I thought I'd better ring you so you could be ready to be surprised. I... I'm sure that man is a breather. OK, Mum. Yeah, fine. OK. Bye. Sorry. No hurry. I'm only going in there to do a spot of heavy breathing. <laughs> Try a martini, darling. Oh, lovely. Uh, what's for supper, darling? Boiled silver side. I hate boiled silver side. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> darling. Yes? Nothing. Uh, you know, Martin, you've got that look that Reggie used to have sometimes. Have I? Have I really? Mm. Oh, right. Um, darling, prepare yourself for a shock. <gasps> that sounds ominous. Well, brace yourself for a surprise, darling. <gasps> that sounds even more ominous. I'm not Martin. I am Reggie. <gasps> my God, uh, my God! <laughs> You're uh, Reggie! Heron! Oh, <laughs> alive! Uh, oh. Yes. <laughs> mm. oh. <laughs> I feel very 
been nervous, darling. Oh, no. It's only the family. It's only your lovely daughter and her husband. Yes, and your lovely brother. Well, it's not as if my mother was coming. Oh, yes, your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, where is she? I can't see your mother as a hippopotamus anymore. Oh, well, that's oh. good. Now, you just explain to them exactly what yes, happened. Yes, I, why should I be so nervous? It's ridiculous. All I've got to do is say, hello, everybody, I'm not Martin, I'm Reggie. I, I, I pretended to commit suicide. I, I came back in disguise and married Elizabeth for the second time. Of course, absolutely nothing. Oh, my God, they're here. No, you must tell them. Oh. I'm going upstairs. I'm sorry. I can't. What's all this mystery? You'll see. I don't like mysteries. I'm not a mystery person. That's true. Oh, I'll get it. How's Mark's tour of Africa going? Oh, very well. He's playing No Sex, Please Wear British to the Maasai. Hello, all. Oh, hello, Jim. Gracious. What on earth have you done to your thumb? Bit of a cock up on the unemployment front. Caught thumb in Labour Exchange door. Yes. <laughs> Sorry to hear you've been drummed out of the army, Jimmy. Uh, defend your country. Army says too old. Push off. No first thing I did. Went home and pressed my trousers. Adage of old Colonel War Boys. Nothing looks quite as black when your creases are sharp. <laughs> uh, mustard for creases, War Boys. Hated the free poles. No creases. Sorry, talking too much. Hogging limelight. Nerves. Sorry. Do you know what you're going to do next? Yes. <laughs> what? Idle talk cost lives. Another mystery. It's a mystery for me why you all have so many mysteries. Yeah, what's all this mystery about? I like a good mystery. Well, I found out something about Martin tonight. He's not the monster of the Piccadilly line. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm called for. Well, do you know it was really Reggie all the time? Yes. And here he is. <laughs> no. Yes, Dad! Dad. <laughs> Quite a surprise for you, eh? <laughs> well, I must say. Oh, must you? I felt, <laughs> felt something wrong, couldn't quite place it. <laughs> so when we had a memorial service for you, you were still alive. <laughs> I was at the service. <laughs> I gave 50p. Oh. <laughs> well, it's the principle. Here we are, same. champagne. Ah, champagne. Better than sprout wine, eh, Jimmy? Uh, not a champagne waller. Uh, oh, cheers. Uh. Welcome home, Dad. Yes, uh, welcome. Uh, welcome home, nice to see you all. Yes. Uh. There we are. Umbrella. Thank you, darling. Briefcase. Thank you, darling. Beard. Thank you. Oh, 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 moustache. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, darling. Yeah. Morning, Miss Greengrass. Morning. Ah. <laughs> Seventeen minutes late, water seeping through the cables at Effingham Junction. <laughs> there was a lot of Effingham and a good deal of Blindingham. <laughs> <laughs> Dictation time, Miss uh, Greengrass. Right, to Mr. Perrin. To the Saucy Calendar Company, Buff Road, Orpington, dear sir. Would you please quote me for 165 saucy calendars to keep our male employees in what can only be called a constant state... In what... You called me Perrin? Yes. Oh. In what... No. No, 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 no. I'm Martin Wellborn, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Greenhouse. Oh, not, not a... Red! Joan, please! Joan, please! <laughs> Come in! Morning, Martin. Morning, CJ. Ah, I want you to have a check-up with Doc Morrissey. Keep the old boy occupied on his first morning. Certainly, CJ. Mm. Idle hands make heavy work, eh, Joan? Oh, they certainly do, CJ. <laughs> Martin? CJ! Got lipstick on your face. Absolutely. Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> Careful, Martin. I didn't get where I am today by having lipstick on my face. Certainly not, CJ. Perish the thought, CJ. Sorry, CJ. <laughs> CJ, please, 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 will you please? Martin! Please, yes. Now, this, CJ, this is, is hello again, CJ. This is, um, this is, this is an experiment, CJ, to, but thank you, Miss Groomers, that will do. This is an experiment to, to keep the, uh, to, to keep the employees happy, to keep absenteeism due to sickness at bay. The idea is to be extra friendly, everybody kissing each other every morning. Well, well, not everybody, only people of the opposite, um, of, of the opposite sex. It's going too far. This isn't British Leyland. No, CJ, certainly not. <laughs> I came back to tell you, be extra friendly, to Doc Morrissey. Certainly, CJ. No, don't, don't, please. But no kissing. 
Neither Mrs. C.J. nor I has ever kissed all the employees every morning. I imagine not, C.J. Memo to all departments. Memo to all departments. Joan, when did you realise I was Reggie? Well, it just sort of came up on me, Mr. Perrin. The way you stared at my legs and sighed and suddenly went home and generally behaved very oddly. Yes, yes, I see, quite. And then when you said 17 minutes late, defective bogey at Wandsworth. Yes, <laughs> Earlsfield, actually. Yes. No, 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 definitely memo to all the Bob. Come on, come on. <clears throat> now, members of the Pudding Club have been leaving the premises <laughs> in a condition which can... Un can members of the... You're not taking this down. Oh, I don't feel like it, Mr. Perrin. Don't you think you ought to call me Mr. Wellborn? I could always tell C.J. or Mr. Perrin, Mr. Wellborn. Yes, you could, yes. Oh, yes, yes, you could. <laughs> I might not if... Uh... If, uh, if, uh, uh, oh, if, oh, if, uh, oh, I see. Oh, what's this if? Is this blackmail, Joan? Oh, not exactly blackmail. But Mr. you Perrin. just threatened if I don't do something, you'll tell C.J. Yes. If I don't do what, Joan? Well, Mr. Come on, Perrin. come on, if I don't do what? If you and I, oh, yeah, yeah. together, yes, yes. do you know? I know, yes, if we don't have it off together from time to time. Yes! What a dreadful way to put it, Joe. Oh, but I loved you! No, I'm sorry, sorry Joe, this, this is most embarrassing. It's most, it's most flattering, but it is most embarrassing. I was attracted to you, yes. You were attractive. You are attractive. And I was attractive. Attracted. But, um, but well, that's over. No, I'm, I, it's all finished. I'm a happily married man, and, and Elizabeth is my happily married wife. And, and that's... Go on, tell CJ if you want to. Go and tell him. There you are. I can't. <laughs> Oh, hell. <laughs> yes. Ready for dictation, Mr. Uh, Noble? In a moment, Miss uh, Greengrass. I have to go and see Doc Morrissey. Now then, listen. <laughs> uh, come in. Oh, sit down. Oh, thanks, Doc. Okay. Nice to see you again. <laughs> You've never seen me before? Uh, no. No, I, I mean, nice to, to, to see you and, and to know you're here again. Yes. yes. Of course, I've never seen you before. Good Lord, see, see you before? <laughs> Pull the other one. <laughs> and your name is? Uh, Martin Wellborn. Well, yes. take your clothes off and put them over there on top of mine. Right. <laughs> what? Oh, it's just a joke. Uh, put the patients at their ease. Oh, I see. <laughs> I've been polishing up on psychology <laughs> yes, while I've been on the dole. <laughs> Open wide. Yes, you run this, say, ah, Reginald Perrin Memorial, what's it, don't you? Uh, that's absolutely correct. Yes. How's he going? And again, going well, is it? Well, I don't think, ah, uh, people uh, want to be happy, uh, really. Uh, shut up. Uh, yes. How many people, say, 99, are you dealing with? Oh, about 299 and 6. Oh, quite a task. <clears throat> yes. It's against nature. Deep breath to be happy at work. Well, work. I've always thought deep breath, sir. Well, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 go behind the screen, will you? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> no, 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 take this. Take oh, this. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. oh, yes. <laughs> Happiness is all very well for the Latin race. It doesn't suit the British temperament at all. It's like going behind that screen. I know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. <laughs> you know that I know what you're doing. Perfectly normal, natural, completely inoffensive thing. We all do it. You, me, Dennis Compton. <laughs> Even Wedgwood Ben. <laughs> we British go behind a screen, not like the so-called Latin races, standing in their laybys. Besides, it's much easier behind a screen. I'm sorry, it's too cold. <laughs> Still the same old Reggie. Pardon? Your original period. What is no. all this tomfoolery? No, no, no. I'm no. going to have to tell CJ. Let him know I'm a force to be reckoned yes, but... with. <clears throat> <laughs> Sit down, Perrin. Thank you, CJ. Sit down, Doc. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> oh, sorry, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to do it. Always knew you were a good man, Doc. Unlike you, Reggie, this is a disgrace. Absolutely, CJ. Pretending to be dead? And then posing as your long-lost friend from Colombia? How could you hope that anyone would fall for a thing like that? Absurd. I gave you a job running your own memorial fund. How did you hope to get away with it? Ridiculous. I didn't get where I am today posing as my long-lost friend from the Argentine. I realise that, CJ. <laughs> I could come in here wearing a dress and pretend to be Cathy Kirby. <laughs> but I don't. That isn't the British way. It certainly isn't, CJ. You must have picked up some funny ideas out there in Peru. Yes, but I wasn't actually out there in Peru, CJ, if you remember. I'm not Martin Wellborn. I know that. <laughs> I'm not a complete nincompoop. 
Who am I? <laughs> Doc! Oh, uh, uh, no, as a medical man, I should say you definitely weren't a complete nincompoop. <laughs> what was that, Doc? I said we seem to be on the flight path uh, again today. <laughs> Wealthy matrons from the Hamburg Women's Institute heading for the outsized department of D.H. Evans, perhaps. <laughs> All this nonsense about making the employees happy is nonsense. Would it surprise you to learn, Perrin, that absenteeism is up 3.1%? Not particularly, C.J. It was me who told you. Ha! <laughs> Condemned out of your own mouth. You're sacked. Thank you, C.J. I practically destroy this firm. I start caring about people. I didn't get where I am today caring about people. I re-employed this medical idiot here, Morrissey. You're sacked. Oh. <laughs> C.J. Yeah, but but it, was, it was Doc Morrissey who revealed to you who I am. That's CJ. proving he's an idiot. You're sacked. <laughs> it does seem rather unfair. <laughs> oh, it is unfair. Life is unfair. I am unfair. <laughs> You're both sacked. Thank you, C.J. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, whiskey. Ah. <laughs> Did you have a good day at the office? Wonderful, absolutely marvellous. Oh, good. Yes, I've been sacked. Oh, <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> so, oh, yes. Yes, Reggie, I'm afraid CJ has found out I'm Reggie. <laughs> oh, Reggie, where's it all going to end? Oh, don't worry, darling. Every cloud has a silver lining. I'll get another job with my qualifications, my experience, my application, my, my skill, my, my dynamism, my sense of purpose. Of course, I'll get another job. Of course, I will. 